Does Justin beat Charles if there's a rematch? He could do, yeah. I wouldn't mind it. He has improved massively. Old. Thank you for the 18 AD. Sandhagen versus Umar, February 13th, confirmed by the podcast. Where did you see that as well? Is that another thing that's just been posted? Anyway. Um, where's the other thing? Where, where have you seen that? Thank you for the 18 AD. Um, getting paid while watching this. Nice. Thank you for the 18 AD. Go to the end of the YouTube vid. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Dude, crazy amount of news, huh? Absolutely bonkers. More than I fucking mean. Oh. It technically does count as work, to be fair. So I don't know if you guys can trash me too hard about that. What have I missed? I don't know. A bunch of fights, dude. Moicano versus Jalen Turner was supposed to be in January. I know, dude. It's not confirmed at all, dude. Jalen Turner's fighting this weekend. Oh, it's with Dana as well. Ah, what a leak. Thank you very much. We've been discussing it. I'm not seeing where in the video something leaks. Ah, oh my God. There's so much on that fucking board. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, dude. There's so much on that board. Oh, so much of it is blurred, though. Dude, that camera guy just fucking leaked so much, but there's so much of it out of vision. Saturday, February 10th. Corey Sandhagen, Umar Namagomedov. Moicano versus Turner was supposed to be on there. Brad Tavares versus Christian Rodriguez. That one's already on. Rinya Nakamura versus Brady Highstand. Um, Court McGee versus Nico Price. Jeremiah Wells versus Philip Rowe. Rodolfo Vieira versus Armand Petrosian. I think that one's already been announced as well. Damn, dude. They leaked a whole... Dude, this is crazy. If you fast for 50 hours, will Dana acknowledge you? I don't care if Dana acknowledges me. Moicano shouldn't even be ranked. His best win is Brad Riddell off of two losses. Okay. Um, it would be Figueredo and then maybe a Piotr Yan fight, I guess, if Yan beats like a Dominic Cruz in the meantime or like a Corey Sandhagen in a rematch. But I guess Corey Sandhagen's fighting Umar Nurmagomedov February 10th, which is cool. I think Sandhagen does beat him. Um, are you surprised that they're not delaying Umar's rise since Sean just became champ? No, because hear me out. I think O'Malley versus Nemegomedov will be seen as the casual fan base as like a McGregor Habib too. Yes or no? It might be seen in a similar way. So I think their mindset is, well, Umar could lose to Pedro Munoz. Fuck that. Let's risk it to where he can actually be in a great position if he does win. You know what I mean? Fuck no. Yes, no. I'm not saying it will do 2 million pay-per-view buys, but it will do more pay-per-view buys because of the connotation of O'Malley being the new McGregor that looked up to McGregor, Irish heritage. And then you've got Umar Nurmagomedov as well. It, the casual fans will recognize that as like, dude, this is kind of like Habib McGregor. And that will, that will definitely add in some pay-per-view buys. Chat is done and they'll say no to anything these days because they're becoming a fucking kick TV chat, which is really sad as we get more viewers. But um, real ones, no, I'm actually being honest there. That will definitely add a lot of pay-per-view buys to it, to the casual fan base, getting them interested in shit. Just the surname Namagomedov does wonders, especially if he beats Sandhagen or finishes him. You know what I mean? That'd be huge. Main event of a fight night. Come on. Um, 